I got the right clothes in here, Al. You're not going that far. Not back to jail, Al. Shouldn't be that bad. In upstate county, the DA up there needs some help. We owe him a favor. Does he know I'm coming? He only knows we're sending someone. What's the problem? A man named Anthony Povich, farmer. 60, married, no children. Murdered, no suspects. What about his wife? Very young, about 23. Her name's Angela. Two years ago, Povich figured he needed a wife. So he wrote to relatives in the old country. A few months later, the bride arrived and they were married. 60-year-old husband, 23-year-old bride. That sounds like the makings of a motive. It's impossible. You see, in such a small town, they need a stranger to do the spade work. No one up there can move around without being recognized. You got a job picked out for me? Yeah. Candy, you sell it. That ought to make me a big man with the kids. <laughs> Here, you leave from LaGuardia in an hour. People up there have talked about nothing but the Povich murder. I'm a good listener. Step number one. On the 12th day of June, year not specified, Special Investigator Shannon flew to an upstate New York County. Shannon registered in the only hotel in town under the name Caraway, checked in with a district attorney, and began making calls as a candy salesman, listening to the gossip concerning the Povich murder. It was the main topic of conversation wherever he went. That evening, he rented a car, having discovered that the Peacock Tavern on the highway was the gathering place each evening for farmers, truckers, and the rest of the townspeople. William? He's a candy salesman from New York City. Checked him into the hotel myself this morning. Never heard of selling candy in a bar. May you have a heart, will you? It's after working hours. He's entitled. How did he find the peacock first night in town? <laughs> what else is there to find? What's yours, buddy? Some of that tap will do fine. You know, I've been thinking, May. Somebody ought to call one of these mystery writing fellas, bring him down here and solve this thing once and for all. Maybe you're right, William. Me? I heard so many ideas on it. I'm beginning to think it never happened. No, oh, it happened all right. Just go down to the cemetery and look at old Tony's grave. How's it going, Luke? Oh, good, Max, good. Did you work today? Oh, just helping out up at the Ferguson place. Hey. He had an operation, you know. Well, that's better than no work at all, Luke. Wilder, hope I can buy you a drink. So that's all you boys sell your candy. <laughs> Another for me too, Max. You close your drugstore early. Not for this town, Caraway. By nine, everyone's home or here at the Peacock. I sure didn't sell much candy today. But I heard a lot of talk about a murder. Yeah, that's on everyone's mind. Seems like everyone has their own theory. That they do. And not one of them knows what happened. <laughs> 
You must be wrong there, Mr. Wilder. What do you mean? He didn't kill himself. Looks like we're gonna have a new theory in town. It's natural, isn't it? I'm beginning to wonder. Good night, Caraway. Maybe tomorrow I'll buy some of your candy. Getting a little lively, huh, Max? I don't know, it does about this time. Max, a golden beer for Angela. May I supply the gold? Why not? I hope you sell tons of candy. How'd you know my line? In this town? Everybody knows everything. What time you get up in the morning, what shoe you put on first, what um, you have for breakfast, what you feel inside. You mean you don't know who I am? I know. And aren't you wondering uh, why I'm out dancing so soon after my husband's death? You think it's a good idea? Maybe I don't understand small American towns yet. Your word, uh, hypocrite. You think that is better? No. Look at me. Don't the young have some rights? I don't have any battles to fight. I'm just a stranger in town. You don't care? That's right, I don't care. And will you, uh, dance with the Bidopovich? If you press one of those easy numbers, like we aren't going to dance again. We aren't. Where are you going, Donnie? Nowhere in particular. Home, I guess. Let me buy you a beer. Max? Your father was in a short while ago. Yeah. Well, he stops in about every night. What do you do, Donnie? You run the drugstore in the day? I just help out until I take my bar exam up in Albany. Oh, going to be a counselor, huh? That's sure better than selling candy. That's what I get for wasting those early years. I'd better be getting back to the books. Donnie, you know all the jokes about the traveling salesman. Let me tell you, they aren't true, at least in my case. Donnie, you're a nice looking guy. Maybe you could pick out a nice girl for me, huh? I don't think I can help you out, Caraway. The ones I used to know were all married, have babies. Stick around here while you'll meet one. There was one in here before I was dancing with, but, you know, being a stranger and all, maybe you could put in a good word there. Do you mean Angela Povich? That's the one. That's what you people grow up here. I'm all for farming. You don't want any part of her? I don't. Well, she's a little mixed up. You never know. They're the worst kind. Good luck. I'm Luke. Hi, Luke. I'm a tired candy salesman who needs some sleep.
Step number two. Special Investigator Shannon, having established that an affair existed between Angela Povich and Donnie Wilder, returned to the Peacock Tavern the following night. Hope it's a little livelier tonight, Max. No, it should be. It's Friday. I've sure been hearing a lot of talk about that murder since I got in town. Yeah? What's your interest in it? No, I'm just curious. Seems like everyone has an opinion. What do you think about it? That Tony Povich is dead? It stops right there. Some of the talk says someone was fooling around with his wife. You've seen her, been up close to her. What do you think? Evening. Uh, hello, Caraway. You're still in town. Yeah, I hate to have a town beat me this quick. You're the only one bought any of my candy. How are you tonight, Mr. Water? Oh, pretty good, Max. You know about that Povich murder, the way I hear it. That young widow got herself involved with another man. Uh, I wouldn't know about that. A beer mix. Angie, why don't you stay home for a while? Did anyone ask you, Max? It's your life. I thought maybe I could give it a push in the right direction. I don't like to stay at home. That farm is like a graveyard. You're not doing yourself any good here. I've got candy and gold. I guess it's because you're from out of town. But it's nice talking to you. I wish more people felt that way. I'm having my troubles both day and night. I know what you mean. I've had a share of that, too. Would you like to join me someplace else? There is no other place. How about the hotel? What kind of a girl do you think I am? I didn't mean it that way. There's a dining room in the hotel. We could have dinner. No, I... I'm afraid not. That... I guess you got a boyfriend. What makes you say that? What's wrong with having a boyfriend? Nothing. Nothing at all. Who is that? That's Luke. Loneliest man in the world. He looks it. Looks not like other people in this town. He has warmth and kindness. Outside of Max, not many people care about him. People around here seem friendly enough to me. To strangers, not to their own. Maybe you forget. You're a beautiful young girl who happens to be a widow. And that gives them the right to look down on me? Max doesn't look down on you. Seems Luke doesn't either. Max is a bartender. He understands. Luke? That Luke is in love with me in his own dumb way. Because I smile at him. I'll show you how to rock and roll. Sorry, afraid I can't make that speed. Buy you a beer, Luke? Why'd you want to buy me a beer? Oh, Angela said nice things about you. Angela did? What'd she say? Max, two more. She said you are a real kind man. She, she said that? Why'd you talk to her? I guess I just like her. Well, then, why'd you let her dance? Well, I don't have any control over her, Luke. She was sitting with you. I know, but I didn't dance with her. I wonder what makes her act that way. Maybe her husband liked to see her that way. He ain't around no more. 
Somebody killed him. Maybe there's someone else now. You've had enough, haven't you, Luke? No, no. What makes you think she's got somebody else? I don't know for sure, Luke. Maybe in a little while I'll be able to tell you. She should. I'm glad she's going home. I wouldn't be too sure she's going home, Luke. Why? Maybe it just looks that way to an outsider. What's an outsider? Well, it's kind of what I am in a way, Luke. You know, someone that doesn't live around here. I see things from a different angle, a different point of view. Well, what does that mean? Well, Luke, like, you come into this bar every night. You're so used to the same people doing the same things that maybe you don't notice when they do something different. Who's doing something different? Take Angela, the way she walks out of here every night. Well, what's different about that? But she always waits until Donnie comes in. Well, that, that means she doesn't like him, Mom. Then why does Donnie leave five minutes later? the same every night, Luke. See my point? What's obvious to an outsider, others miss. Hey, uh, I think I'll go home, too. Uh, I'm tired. Wrong, honey. Oh, Donnie, I, I can't go on living like this. Sneaking around late at night, grabbing love in a car. Wait a minute, Angie. There's nothing we can do. We just have to have patience. A few months, everything will be all right. I can't wait a few months. What do you want to do? We were together before Tony died. What would everyone think? I don't care what they think. It's our life. You forget Tony's been murdered. And we, we'd be the prime suspects. Donnie. Get out. Luke, what are you doing here? 
Get out, Donnie. Look, this is none of your business. Look, I haven't done anything. What are you thinking, that I killed Tony? You treated her the same way he did. Luke, you're, you're wrong. You stand back, Angela. I love Tony. him through the window and I saw her husband Tony hugging her and kissing her and I couldn't stand it no more she's like a flower I saw once and you you you, you don't crush pretty things I killed Tony Angela I, I, I killed him for you. I don't know how to thank you for all this. Keep that gun on him. I'll call the sheriff. I will. You come back yourself, though. You'll be a big hero in this town. Have you a picture in the paper? No. Just tell him a candy salesman named Caraway gave you a helping hand. 